another story that we are uh, talking about uh, with Guy Kilty from Five Live Money. Hello, Hi, Anna. Guy uh, is about selling new build houses on a leasehold basis. Uh, that's going to be banned in England now because, uh, Guy, there have been complaints that, that home buyers are being ripped off by this. Yeah, that's right. There have been lots of complaints about leasehold deals uh, in the last couple of years. And we follow this quite a bit on Five Live. And just to back up and tell you the difference. So when you buy uh, you know, a house on freehold, that means you own the land and the house. But if you buy on leasehold, someone else owns that freehold and you often have to pay them things like ground rent and there's also a length of the lease which can can uh, cause problems when you're trying to sell it with the length of the lease and also we've had big complaints about ground rent in many cases being doubled in some cases and ending up being thousands of pounds which obviously can be expensive in the short term but it also makes it difficult to, to sell your house. Now uh, the, the government started a consultation on this earlier in, in the year and they've announced today that as a result of that consultation they decided to legislate and as you say ban uh, the selling of uh, new build houses on a leasehold basis in England. Well, we can speak now to Sebastian O'Kelly. He's a trustee of the Leasehold Knowledge Partnership, which has been campaigning for a better deal for homeowners on leaseholds. Hi, Sebastian. Hi there. Thanks for joining us. So presumably, you're pretty happy with today's news. We're absolutely delighted. It's excellent news. I think the, the, the uh, it's good that leasehold houses have been brought to an end, but they were always uh, sort of having a laugh on behalf of the uh, developers. But more important really is that the government has said that ground rents are going to end so they were never for any service whatsoever and the government has considered them very carefully and regarded them as wrong and from new bill for the new bill properties they will not be chargeable okay That's so no news. leaseholds and no ground rents for people that buy stuff in the future but what about all those thousands of people that are on leasehold deals now what about the government has said they're going to help them they're going to make it easier to buy the freehold or extend the lease but it's not really clear how that's going to work in practice no that's true uh, there's a hundred thousand people who've got uh, leasehold houses and leasehold flats which are unsellable because of these onerous lease terms usually because the ground rents double and uh, and they are stuck now this was all discussed in the house of commons today and the housing minister has just finished speaking and i I think there will be some action on this. What the leasehold house owners want is the freeholds to be sold to them at the price originally offered, uh, usually verbally by the sales staff of the PLC house builders. And in the case of the leasehold flat owners, they need to have their leases varied from doubling ground rents to ground rents linked to a mild form of inflation. But that's still going to mean thousands of pounds, isn't it, for those people to, to try and get off these leasehold deals? No, I'm saying that the freeholders can, and the developers can pay for this. They're the people who've basically cheated their own customers. The leaseholders themselves are entirely innocent on this. I mean, it is extremely difficult to um, break out of the developer's sort of walled garden of sales process, especially if you're on the help to buy scheme, which they administer. Most of these people, as in 99% of them, bought with developer recommended solicitors, developer recommended valuers, and the whole process was part of the slick sales operation of the developers. They've got to sort this out and get back in touch with the dodgy customers that they've sold the freeholds to, get the de get the leases varied, and put matters right. So does that mean you're going to be campaigning now for these basically the freeholds to be handed to the leaseholders? To, so those people on leasehold deals, they should now be given the freehold by the developers? Too right we're going to be campaigning on that, but not just us. I mean, we have 130 MPs in our party parliamentary group a number of them spoke uh, today many in the northwest and uh, they're very agitated about this and extremely well informed now so i think the um, this issue is not going to go away anytime soon well the house builders for they their part they obviously this is a revenue stream for house builders isn't it and they say this will stop them building as many houses as they would have done otherwise yes that's a familiar argument and it's complete cobblers uh, if that were the case then leasehold houses would cost uh, significantly less than freehold houses of the, of the comparable size. Land registry data doesn't suggest that at all. It shows that some leasehold houses either match freehold houses in price or even exceed them. So it's not true. And I don't think it's true for, or it's not a very plausible argument for developers to say that their profitability, that ground rents are essential for their profitability when they've been helping themselves to truly gargantuan bonuses, such as the chief executive of Persimmon, who's helping himself to a £100 million bonus. OK, but, well, they... they they surely would uh, dispute whether they were gargantuan or not. But yeah, but they might, but they've lost the argument to date. Okay, well, Sebastian O'Kelly, we'll have to leave it there. Sebastian O'Kelly there from the Great, Leasehold thanks. Knowledge Partnership. Many thanks for that.